Alrighty folks, I am Southern Nerd and today we're going to be trying out some uh, campaigns unlocked by the uh, Mixers Interrupt me asshole by Mixers Unlocker It's a mod that's on the Steam Workshop that lets you play as uh, previously unplayable factions I've played around with this one before last time around Where is he? There he is I tried out this guy Goros Warhoof. Right. And I will be fast forwarding through the load screens and the interns and all that mess. Hold on a second, I love this part. This scenario is probably uh, more than a little bit overpowered because not only are these Kislev cities basically undefended, uh, you've got an actual army here. So you've got your gore herds, your Sensigors, Razagor Chariot, and a damn regiment of renowned also. So what are we going to do here? Uh, you start off with a quest issued right off the bat and it looks like it, it, it looks like uh, this is something I can probably uh, beat rather easily uh, let's see these forsaken I don't know armor 75 leadership 70 how does that compare to my guys huh. I think um I may be able to handle that. I, I have not played as a beastman very much, at least not successfully. But anyway, I think what I'm probably going to do is uh, take care of some of these kids live cities first, and then I will come back and uh, with a slightly bigger army and take on that chaos quest. What's the reward for that anyway? Mysterious chaos artifact. What's that do? That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not missing much. It'll be fun to fight, though. So first thing I'm gonna do is kill these guys. Declare war. Yes. easy it is. I have a pragmatic reason for doing that though. First off, I'm not very good at beast and I need a damn practice. And second of all, these auto resolves can really screw you. So, quick save because this game loves to crash for me. And here we go. spears and two swords or probably just these guys by themselves could take them
so uh, I think I'm gonna keep them mostly together. You are large, so I'm not going to have you on my front line. Axe Infantry, they did not have any cavalry, so I'm going to have my melee fellas up at the front. Shields in the center of them. Damn it. Spearmen on the sides. Flanking units. My spearmen here. You're here. Harpies, you can be here. Hmm. And uh, a regiment of renowned. I want to be careful with y'all because you are cavalry. That means the Spearman can put a dent into you. Though even though they're not great spearmen, I'm sure. Alright, let's go. Alright. Okay. So I've got a little time here. Since they have no archers, I can just wait on them. This is going to be easy anyway. Alright, let's do it. Let's move up my center first. You know what, I changed my mind. Let's move up with all of them. Get them all heading that way. Might as well. Oh shit, no, no, no. Do not charge the scare men. Fifty-seven units. If I had auto resolved, I probably would have lost at least a hundred. Alrighty. Now this is always well, not this time, but usually it's a bit tricky to figure out. You can raise in the file and, and spread chaos corruption, and that does help cause a bit of a uh, problems in the enemy's lands. Or you can loot and raise because you need money. Uh, in this case. 
the chaos corruption last time i played this it seemed to be the same and no matter how much money they're offering and this time they're offering like zero money i mean well not zero but basically so this time i'm gonna raise in the file and uh, when they offer me more money i'll probably take the money well not money but chaos favor gift of chaos the gifts of chaos are many and varied each bestowing a twisted boon or warped blessing from the ruinous ones in return for recipient service. Alrighty then. That's lovely. Yeah, and I cannot go into encamp mode, which sucks. What happened last time? Uh, they're gonna make a leader here, and uh, I squished them pretty easily last time, so. What have we got here? Research. What do we want? Income from raiding. The thing is though, I don't do a whole lot of raiding early on. I just I mostly just hide and avoid the armies and then just pick off their cities when I can. Hmm. Alright. Beastly Steeper, melee attack for lords and baited heroes, melee defense for lords and baited heroes, I might go for that. Recruit rank plus one for gore units, recruit rank plus one for ungore units, maybe. Leadership plus five when fighting against men, I expect that's probably going to be the most useful since it's uh, exclusively, almost exclusively me and I'll be fighting early on unless Kazak Zarak or however you pronounce it attacks me again like they did last time and assign skill points don't crash, don't, there we go Gargantuan Hooves, you always do campaign movement range first or at least I do I think what I'm going to do this time is have my Ungor Spearmen act as meat shields uh, for my gore herds. Because, uh, you know, I was surprised that this guy here took that much damage just from spearmen and swordsmen. Uh, I don't know, maybe that's because he had, he had uh, too many of them on him at once. And you've got a shield. Yeah, you. Yeah, I want you right here. I can probably spread these out a little more. Just a tad. There we go. So that way he can go up through in the, through the center of them. I want you here. No, I don't. I want you here. There we go. No, actually, I want y'all relatively close together. Here's my regiment of renowned. Axe throwers, razor gore herd. Alright. Now this time I'm gonna group y'all and lock your speed together so that way uh Goros War Hope didn't charge ahead of you again. As you can probably tell from my first battle, I'm usually the guy who pauses it while I give my people all the orders. I'm not going to do that this time though, that's boring.
You got a good shot. Alright. Shit. I think he's probably fine though. Oh shit. Didn't know he had that berserk thingy. That's alright. Alright. Trying to rotate these fellas. You are still shooting, yes? Yes. Alright, so we're doing much better this time. Alrighty, yeah, this is, a mu this is much better. Except for my harpies. Let's go ahead and get you out of there. Take care of him. Lord is being stubborn. So this time I had 66 losses. That's probably because I left my harpies in the fight for way too long. And you're supposed to get them in and out real quick. Just to cause terror, then fly away. The money is more tempting, but I'm going to go with raising the file again. Spread me some chaos. Yeah. I burn your city, I burn your city. Now Fort Ostrosk is way too well defended for my army, so I'm going to, uh, well, I can't move yet. Alright, what do we want here? Income for rating 3%, uh, upkeep negative 3%, you know, uh, that's what I went with last time, but, uh, where we're at now, uh, the only thing we can build is more of these ungors, which are cheap and uh, which are cheap to begin with. I wonder if there's anything that gives me better growth because it took forever to get growth last time. Leadership aura. Well, uh, the horde recruitment capacity actually will be useful because I plan to spam, spam Ungors pretty soon while I'm on my way down here in the, yeah, in the turn. I've got a, at least 25% movement range left so I can go into encampment. Not only will that help heal my guy help heal my guys, I can recruit. So I'm going with Ingor Raiders. And uh hmm. let's see what their thing is. Crossbowmen. Crossbowmen, spearmen, 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 swordsmen, swordsmen. Okay. Mm hmm. Try to think. I think I'm going to go ahead and start a new video. My timer says I've been recording for 50 minutes. I suspect it's going to be a lot less than that once I cut out the loading screens and all that. But uh, I want to be sure because uh, I live in Arkansas. My upload speeds take a good while. So I will see y'all next video.